Hi there, it's Rob here from XWP. I want to welcome you to this short video walkthrough of the customized snapshots plugin. This plugin is one that a number of our XWP developers have contributed towards and is also a regular puzzle piece in our client work. The most recent update, version 0.6, comes packaged with a number of new features and updates and it certainly warrants this demo. This plugin is of course on the WordPress.org plugin repo from where you can download, install and check it out. For the demo, I have a new and blank WordPress install running on my local machine. It's running the 2017 theme and the only notable changes are that I have the customized snapshots plugin already installed and that I have set a static page as the front page under the reading settings in the WordPress admin area. The first thing you're going to notice in the admin area is that the customized menu item, which is usually under appearance, is now at the top level and has two sub menu items of its own. The first is customize, which takes you through to that normal customizer interface. And the second is change sets, which we will explore shortly. So let's firstly go to customize. And this brings us to the familiar customizer interface where we can make customizations and change settings to our site according to whatever our active theme and plugins allow. What I will do first is make a very simple change to the site. So let's go to site identity and change the site title. And we're also going to change the tagline. So we've made our first changes to the site. They are currently unpublished and will remain so until we hit publish. Now in previous versions of WordPress, if we were to exit this screen without publishing, any changes we have made would be lost. In WordPress 4.7, change sets were introduced. Change sets allow settings and customizations to be stored and saved for later access. As we move through this demo, we'll see exactly what this storing and saving actually allows a site owner to do. Now this customized snapshots plugin that we're looking at today actually prototyped the change sets infrastructure and user interface. The WordPress 4.7 release brought the infrastructure of change sets into core, where the user interface at this stage is still only available through the snapshots plugin. Great, so let's now see what change sets can do. You notice here that the normal save and publish button of the customizer has been replaced with a publish button with a number of drop down options. We could hit publish now, which would publish our site title and tagline changes, but what we will actually do is hit save draft. We've now saved and stored the change set, which in our case right now includes those site title and tagline changes, nice and simple. We can leave this page, even log out of the site, return at a future date and access our stored change set to pick up from where we left. It's good to note that change sets are actually saved in the background as auto drafts and then garbage collected after a week of inactivity. The save draft action, which we just did by clicking the button, saves it as an actual draft where it is stored permanently. One of the features added in version 0.6 of the Snapshots plugin is the ability to name your change set. By default, they are given a randomized identifier or change set ID that defaults as the name of the change set. If we click this pencil icon, we can change the name, ideally to something a little more descriptive of what the change set includes. For this change set, let's call it change site title and tagline. With our change set saved and named, we can now actually share a preview of it with someone else for review. This person does not even have to have an account with our site to view the preview as the plugin generates a preview URL that is publicly accessible. Let's have a look at this preview now. We can see the unique preview URL in our browser bar. We can see that the page is displaying our site title and tagline changes we made in the customizer. It's this URL here that can be shared. A powerful component of change sets is that if a user opens the preview URL and then clicks around the site, the changes stored in the change set travel around the site with them. This gives them a site-wide preview of the impact of the change set rather than just for the single page. To demonstrate that these changes are not actually published, let's visit the home page of the site. You can see that the home page is still showing the default site title and tagline. Let's now go back to the WordPress admin. If we navigate to customize change sets, we'll be able to view a list of all of our change sets in a format similar to any other post type in the WordPress admin. A list is obviously short as it only shows us our single saved change set. From here, we can open up this change set and edit it further in the customizer interface. Additionally, we can view the details of the change set, including each individual setting and its value. An update in 0.6 gives us the ability to actually delete individual settings as well. So if we click remove setting and then save draft, 
we'll see that the setting and its value is now removed from the change set. Previewing the change set shows us that this is the case. Okay, now let's quickly create a second change set. So we go to Customize. Now you can see under Site Identity that our changes we made earlier are not here. This is because we are starting a new customizer session with a blank change set, independent from our previously unpublished change set. Let's make a new change though. Under Colors, and we're going to change the color scheme to dark. Let's save draft and rename our change set to change color scheme to dark. While we're here, I'd like to show another handy feature of customized snapshots. With each change set, just like you could with any other WordPress post type, you can schedule it to be published. An example of where this could be helpful is if a marketer wanted to make changes to a site in line with a marketing campaign that was being launched at a specific date and time. Scheduling the changes would remove the dependency of someone sitting at their desk and hitting publish at the exact required moment. Remember as well, when the scheduled time arrives, it publishes all the changes bundled in the change set. Let's now revisit our list of change sets in the WordPress admin so I can demonstrate another new feature released in version 0.6. We can see our two change sets, and if we select both, we can use this options drop down to merge the two together. If a team had a number of change sets that they had worked on that they now had to share with a decision maker for final approval, a single previewable change set could be valuable. It would remove the need for someone having to toggle back and forth between numerous different preview URLs. If we run this merge now, you'll see that we have generated a new change set. The original change sets are still available, which could prove useful, but this third change set now has the combined changes. You can demonstrate this by clicking on preview. We can see that we have both our site title change as well as our color theme change. This concludes the walkthrough of the plugin, and I hope it gives you a good insight into the power and potential of change sets. We're excited that the foundation is now in core, and are really looking forward to what plugin authors will do with it. The Customized Snapshots plugin itself is still in active development, so if you feel you can contribute to it, be it through development or even just sharing your feedback, you can visit the WordPress.org plugin page for details on how. This is Rob from XWP, and thanks for your time.